know and have played with magnets. Magnets and the magnetic fields are the backbone of the creation. Nothing in the world is and can exist without magnetic fields. But all the magnetic fields in the universe don't have the shape of very much what you get on your fridges. These are the magnets you see in your fridges. The little magnets. So, if you look, you already have and lived and play with magnets. These are little magnets you stick on the fridge, on your door. But behind these sits the whole mystery of the creation. If you go to every single smaller piece, they are actually are very much like this. They are little, little uh, spheres. But, in the universe, spheres don't sit on the floor. The spheres sit upright. And, these spheres of magnetic fields, when they sit upright, they look very funny. They look like a little ball, which they rotate. And this, in our language, in a bigger language, we call a plasma. If you see a ball, this is what we call a plasma. And the whole creation is made and is based on these little magnets, which rotate, and they rotate very fast. And from them, we see magnetic fields. This is like these wires. If you look at these wires, these are all what we call magnetic fields. This is what comes out of the fields from the top of these little balls. And then, they go and they turn, as you see, in different directions and different place. Depends how these fields can spread. And where is there is a friend which is equal to them. So, if you look at this magnets you had, like the little fish, out of it is coming millions and millions of fields like this, which is looking for a mate, for a friend to play with, or to join. And, where it joins, then it sticks, and then we call it a magnet. In in very easy way, what it is, we want you to understand a simple thing. In the world, magnets, in the way your body cells of your body are made, are not flat. They're always in the shape of a ball. And this is a huge departure from what we thought and we think in the past, at least hundred years. So, what we show you is, that instead of going and showing you little magnets, magnetic fields, we start the process of teaching you, from the beginning, about the plasma. Because it's no use teaching you about the magnet, which is flat, and then saying the magnet rotates and become a ball. This is exactly the shape of a magnet, a magnetic fields, we call the plasma. And from it, one side, fields come up like this, and from the other side, the field go in like this. So, in fact, what goes in from one side, has to come out of the other side. But, in the process, in the middle, inside, there are some more magnetic fields, which can join the ones which are coming out. It's just like when you go in the tunnel. What goes in the tunnel, when you go, has to come out of the other end. But in this process, we call it magnetic fields. These are the fields, the little strands you see. So, these strands, have to go somewhere and join something. And then, when they join something, is usually another plasma. So, what you get? You get two plasmas. And, the field from one, has to go in the other one. So, when you look at the overall between the two, you see a mesh like this. So, even though you are looking at a, a sticker, with a little girl on it here, with a magnet on the fridge, a little fish, or whatever, between them is loads of fields like this, traveling from one to another and back. And this is what we call magnetic fields, where the rays come out. But in fact, individually, they are little balls. But, 
The difference is that in a real life, a magnetic field from the ball can be seen, when it comes out, it's like an egg. But we know inside the egg, it's very soft, it's very gentle. And that's what's inside the magnet, inside the plasma. So, when it becomes the shell, we see the plasma. When it's not the shell, it is in the shape of a very, very soft, very, very soft matter what we call a soft plasma. So, if I break this egg, it'll go on the floor, on the table. But, if I can gently take the shell out, which is done with this one, it's a bouncing ball. This is exactly what's inside this egg. So, this is the difference between a, what we call a matter, which we can feel, and this is the skin of the egg taken off, and that's what we call a plasma. So, this is how beautiful it is. You bring a lot of these bouncing balls, calling plasma, the fields join each other, and then now what do you have? A plasmas, which in small balls, all bouncing up and down, and the waves shaking like this, and now you see how beautiful plasma has become. This is, millions and millions of these, make your little nails, Millions and billions of these make your little hearts. But, when they join together, so, you don't have a hard heart, like this, that you can, it's like an egg, you can hear it. It is a ball, a bouncing ball. And this ball balls everywhere, jumps everywhere. And, this is, if I break this side, this, you see the white and the yolk. You can do this at home yourself. You can see the difference between a plasma, and a matter. Matter is when it's hard. Plasma is when it's bouncy. What you can do at home yourself, to see the difference between the matter and the plasma, is, get an egg, put it in a vinegar, for three days. And you come, and you see the magic. There is no shell. It's only a plasma left. And then, if you break the egg, you see, the inside of the two is exactly the same. The first day, when you break the uh, shell, when you get the shell moved with the vinegar, you will see the yolk. You will see everything inside. If you have, for example, a chick sitting on the egg for a few days, and you can take the shell away, you will see the little chick inside. So, in fact, if you can see through this, for example, through this ball, you can see a little dog. The little dog is in the plasma. I tried to show it to you, if you can see it. So, this is a plasma, you see, it's a ball, it's bouncing. So, this is what the plasma is. The plasma is loads of magnetic fields, which go round and round, make what we call a plasma, and then, Plasma has to come out, they cannot stay. So when they come out, they have to join the others. It's just like when you go out of the house, you go and play with your friends, then it's two friends and more. But to make a little nail or a little toy, even to make this little magnet, needs millions and millions of these little balls joining together. So now, in one step, you have seen how the whole universe works. If it's a small plasma, we call it one atom, or one proton. But, when it becomes a bigger plasma, we call it like Earth. And if it becomes a bigger plasma, it becomes a solar system. And if it becomes a bigger, bigger plasma, we call it the universe. So, in a very simple way, if we can use this plasma, understand how it goes through these lines from one to another, and we can collect the motion of these, it's just like hundreds of you running down the road, then you can produce what is your dream, or whatever you like to be. Here, we start showing the movement of the plasma. When we collect its energy, because it's running, it gets tired, we call it a light. You produce a torch. This torch, 
if you can see it's light, is literally collection of hundreds and hundreds of these plasmas collected and then it's charged in the battery. This is how we make physics fun. Physics is very simple. If you can understand it, the reality of it, I'm sure you'll find out that your teachers will learn from you. And then, the simpler ways, the plasmas have to and they always join each other. As I said, if you find a friend, you can join and play. If I show you these magnets, these are like the sphere, is you will see the magnets chase each other. The, the I'm trying to find a camera that you can see. I can move and that one moves, if you can see it. It moves and it moves and it moves. Because whatever comes from one magnet, it has to go in the other one. So, what comes out this magnet here, it has to go back on the other side. You cannot put all the magnet that is coming out back into itself. So, it goes into another magnet and that's what happens. That keeps the distance. If you see, they never come close to each other. They have to keep their distance. And this is the principle of creation. When plasmas in the universe cannot come and become sitting next to each other. So, they have a gap. And that gap allows them to move freely. And it's like you and your friends sit on the same desk in the school, in the classroom. But there is a little gap between you, that both we can wiggle and move out and move in. And that's how exactly the plasma is. So, you can start playing with games. You can join them, you can join a few, or you can join a number of them. And, at the same time, you can make them to do different things. If you bring more magnets and more magnets together, you can play different games. This is the magnets, in different shape and form. If you look at it, you can understand very easy, that how magnets work. They don't need to be in touch with each other. Their fields reach each other. And this is what we call a plasma. You turn, the two of the same magnets, if you see, I put on the table. If you can see the other one. They rattle, because they can join, the fields join each other. But, magnets do not need, or plasmas do not need to be next to each other, to contact each other. So, if I turn this, that one turns. If I turn the other one, the other one turns. What happens? The field in this one, has to go around to this plasma from here in. And the field from this, now if this one, has to come and join this one. But, that's what exactly happens. You don't need connection. You see, from a distance, you play with the magnets. And this is very much what we call a plasma. It's not flat, it's a ball. And if you stretch this ball very much long, like this, this is what you call the light. The light you saw in the torch, the light which gives you a chance to see this magnet, is the same ball when it gets stretched. If you get a chewing gum in your mouth and chew it and make a ball out of it, and then take it out and stretch it as much as you can, when it's around in your mouth, is a ball, is a plasma. And when you stretch it, it's still the same thing, but very long, and that's what we call the light. And this is how everything in the universe is. You become a stretch, you become a light, you stay a spherical, you become a ball, a plasma. So, in a very simple way, to make a plasma, you need loads and loads of the fields to come together, and they spin and they spin and they spin, and they become a plasma. So, if you had a thought, I'm sure you have seen it in, the, in your time, in your classroom, or in your house, you usually play with the magnets like this. Very flat. 
very, very, very flat. So, you see them, this is what magnet. But in the universe, we never see anything like this. And that's why we see everything in universe like this. And we call it a plasma, because fields rotate, they chase each other. So, from now on, you'll understand that if you've seen a rectangular star in your life, when you look into the sky, no. But you see all the stars are round, the shape of a plasma. Because even the Sun is a very, very big plasma. The reason we start these teachings, is to teach you 